comes to mind when you think of our younger generations? Maybe you think of somebody who's open-minded, well-educated, maybe even a part of changing our future. But how can we expect this of our youth when our education system is stuck in the past? One of my earliest memories of diversity in my education was Martin Luther King Day in elementary school. I was fascinated by Dr. King's I Have a Dream speech. But this was one instance. Even though African Americans have had a central role in shaping our culture today, this was just one day out of every 175 school days that we had. Now, I wanted to know more, but my education just didn't have those necessary resources for me. I wanted more than just a special day. Like Dr. King, I too have a dream. You know, I want to see our education system be a place where, no matter your identity, you too can feel represented. What's stopping us from changing our education so students of all backgrounds, identities, races, religions, and sexualities can feel supported in their education? We should have more than just a special day like Native American Heritage Day or MLK Day. Yes, teachers don't always have the ability to integrate a whole new curriculum into class, but even just practicing a little more diversity every day would help. Try and read that book on black history, and not just in Black History Month. How about, rather than looking at a story through the eyes of Christopher Columbus, looking at it through the eyes of Native Americans? How about a health class focusing on LGBTQ curriculum and sexual reproduction, rather than assuming that every student will learn what they need to know from the assumption that they are straight. Lessons cover up so much of importance, mainly through omission. Why can't we work towards a common goal of genuinely shaping our youth into the open-minded, society-changing people we assume they will be by giving teachers the resources they need to teach from a different perspective? Rather than looking through the eyes of the privileged, why can't we look through the eyes of the marginalized? And not just once a year, every single day.